Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now they continue off here in official PvP. We're back here in Atlas, continuing where we left last time. Now, in the last video, we kind of got our main base set up and got started on this brig, well, farming for it at least. So I'm gonna get the structure down now and I think we can start putting planks on this. I really didn't want to get it in the water until we had everything ready. It really would have been a waste to get everything like half built and then uh, get it sunk or something like that. So we've built up all the the mats and everything to get this going and we should just have like bits and pieces to to go so look at it it looks like it should be so much bigger inside of here i guess this is for the the galleon as well i feel like this one's almost the same size as the schooner like lengthwise but then deeper maybe it's a little eh, it's a bit longer but it doesn't seem like that much bigger so we lost our uh our schooner last time in that uh or with the ghost ships, they've kind of calmed down a bit. They reduced them a little bit, but they're still really OP, um, sinking a lot of people. I feel like they need to reduce the speed or something on them because uh, they're still a big problem. But once this thing's out of the water, or out in the water, <laughs> hope it doesn't go out of the water. Um, we should be all set to like sail around and be safe. So I was actually gonna come harvest these, but I don't think can I not do it if I don't have the skill. That stinks, <laughs> but whatever. I had one of the other guys plant uh, these. They were the bean seeds we got from our last journey. So we've started the farm. They can only grow in this grassy area, though, not up top. All right, here we go. First set of planks going on. Now we're going to go with three gun ports on each side, six in total. I just don't think we want to do a warship first. A complete warship, that is because we're gonna want to use this for traveling like getting resources things like that and if we don't have any weight that will be an issue so we're gonna go with a couple gun ports to start out with i think we can always remove a panel and then put a gun port there as we go um leveling it up and stuff i get back up top this is all i can do down here it's actually made it's made it further than i thought i think this is about half of what we're gonna need or something like that although it doesn't look like it I, I'm, I'm definitely wrong I think that's like a quarter of what we're gonna need there we go okay question is how many decks do we put on this one I'm assuming three since the schooner was two hey if it's four I'll take that too Yeah, it looks like three here. So we get two lower decks, which is so much room. We can do crafting on one and then cannons fully on the center of the other one. And remember, we can always get the, the crew eventually now that they've got the ghost ships and everything out. So we'll have to man all the cannons with crew eventually. This one we are going to be very careful with. <laughs> we're not going to we're not going to take this out unprepared. Like our uh, poor schooner. Okay, the only thing we need is more metal for the gun ports. So we're making a trip across the island. <laughs> We've got a bull and a, a wolf. So he's going to protect me on the wolf. And we're going to try and get to the metal nodes with these. See how much we can get. Take a trip over to the metal nodes at the moment. See how much we can get. Looks like he is a little bit slower. Yeah, he, I thought he seemed quite fast though. I mean... He's I think pretty, this because like it's almost as I think you can jump. That's what it is. Yeah, oh, I, I can, can jump, jump too. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this thing flies. <laughs> Not as high as you. I can move with about a hundred. Nope. It's pretty bad like this too. I hope I can move with about a hundred. That'd be. Ooh. I can move with about 140. 140? Yeah. Uh, is that at the same sort of speed you're at? It's slow speed. <clears throat> yeah, mine's slow as well. I think we're about the same. Yeah. I got 100. Yeah, this isn't worth it, I don't think. Yeah, I got 111. You've got... Yeah. Kind of slow. We should definitely move this back, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah, we might have to sail over here, honestly. 
And I'm lagging so I get in your way, sorry. Oh, I got a level at least. That'll give me some more speed. No, I definitely could have carried more on foot, but we had to get the cow back anyway. It was worth a try. Um, they just get overloaded, like, so quickly. Like, they don't even have to be that close to their, you know, full weight before they're not able to run very quick. So, it was a learning process. There aren't really many tames you can move, like, high amounts of stuff with, unfortunately. Maybe, like, a, a rhino, maybe? But that's still... I don't know. I wouldn't run it across the island, for sure. A horse may be the way to go, so we'll we'll look into that. But at least we'll have enough here to make some gun ports. Like, honestly, it was probably more convenient to ride it, but I can carry more on foot, so... May as well take a little bit more time on foot. Let's get everything we need. We should have everything here. The metal was just <laughs> a real issue, actually. All six gun ports are done. Nice, man. It's just normal so, planks and cannons, sails. So the uh, we probably should have enough metal for the planks, shouldn't we? Or like to do the rest oh, yeah. of the. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. I think we should have enough reason to finish it. Perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a hell of a lot of fiber. There's loads of wood. Yeah, we should. On. Can't wait to see it when it's done. It's I gonna know. look epic. I really want to get the ladders so and that awesome. with the the uh, what's it, the watchtower, oh, or whatever. We're what they call gonna, them. Yeah, we're gonna soup this thing up. Do it the right way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, for these, I say we just spread them out. Should we go? Yeah, we can't do it there. We'll go there, middle, and end. Can't do it there. Spread them out evenly. I guess you can't really. I guess I can't really do that. We'll have to come back and add more for sure. God, I love this. I love this technique. It's just like the. Uh, if you ever played Conan, you were able to fully overweight yourself and then do the roll dodge forward. You can do that, except it's just like a little. Nice little bunny hop. Makes things a lot easier. There's like a seagull inside the boat though. And I'm targeting it, throwing off my motion. Oh, okay, alright. We good? Let's get some more of these ceilings down. I'm hoping the seagull just stays in here. I'm building them in. You can you can hear them protesting. Okay, um, so we got that filled in. All the decks set. Our planks are set, and now I'm just building the little quarters and whatnot so i'm gonna do it uh very similar to like a normal boat design i don't know i i've seen i've seen some pretty funny boats so far in this game and uh <laughs> i want to go with just like your basic what a boat would look like you know what i mean we'll get crazy with it with some of our other boats as we go but you know what i'm gonna put uh, i'm gonna put double doors because people always get you know you get caught up in between each other trying to get through one door so we'll do two is that the right way yeah I don't think it really matters they look like they're the same on both sides bam okay well this thing is big <laughs> uh, I'm hoping it's not sticking through the wall right here Wow, that looks awesome. That model is really cool, actually. All right, we've got our furnace. So we needed this for ingots, so we need to start making up the iron ingots so that we can make cannons. Sorry, I was just making sure that wasn't poking through. The last thing we want is someone to be able to access it from the outside or something. So, all right, it takes wood. What else? Charcoal and iron. I don't have any charcoal. These all take our coal, sorry. I'm gonna grab that from upstairs, but yeah, each of these heavies are gonna take like 45 ingots, I think. 45 ingots, and the normals are gonna take like 25, something along those lines. Um, so we need to pump these out, get all this 
cooking up here quick so that we can get these all done and then it's just sails and the cannons and we're all set it is looking good i'm pretty excited to get this out all right i'm gonna do a little box here on the front so we'll use this for our resource storage i'm thinking we'll put our cannonball and like normal resource storage bins inside of this and then we'll do heavy cannons on the front of it for chasing cannons we've definitely found those to be useful so you always want a couple on the front i'm also going to put the small little um what are those things called the little cannons the i forget what they're called the little single ones okay this one's set that one's set. We're looking good. I think we can add the sails now. Got to figure out where those are at so that I can put the ramps down. All right, we ain't messing around with the weight sails this time. That is not uh, not a good choice, I don't think. The double weight sail schooner. I don't think <laughs> I don't think it was meant to be. So we've got our ingots all cooked up. Just got to make those into cannons and we're all set. Let me go get these sails on here. So I'm doing two speed large and then a large handling. That's what we're going to be rocking. So we've got the handling and the large speed already set. Just tossing on the last speed one here. And we should be good. Now it actually looks like a boat, which is nice. It's got some sails on it. That handling one's a little bit far back, but I think it's going to make this front one line up a little bit better i think i can get it right on top of that box and uh, when you're in the storms actually you take damage while you're out and about on the boat so having a place to kind of move the sails from the inside is nice too all right so This is much as this is pretty much max of what you can do on here, huh? See, I can't place it anywhere. You really have to go all the way up here, huh? Don't have many options. That's it. Just one. See, this one got pushed back a little bit far. Actually, I kind of like it there. So we've got... I'm trying to see if there's, like, maybe something blocking it down here. This tannery might be blocking it. I'd like to do it, like, one forward from where it's letting me place it, but... Oh, I can't even place it from down here. I thought maybe that tannery was in the way. I might just remove it just to... You know what, I'm just going to remove it. It's not that cheap. Or it's not that expensive. Anyway. Okay, let's see if we can place the sail forward. I just feel like... That's a little bit... Like, why can't I put it right there? Like, that seems like where I'd want to put it. I guess it's kind of over... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's probably overlapping up top, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. We're just going to put it here. So doesn't that seem like one notch too forward? I don't know. It, it'll look fine when the sails are open and stuff. So, we'll put the uh, resource bin and stuff in here. I think it'll still fit. I think that'll be okay. And then cannon right here, hopefully. Probably just got to remove these railings. But I really don't want to fall off the schooner that we had. <laughs> we didn't finish the railings on one side, and we kept falling off. So, I think it definitely helps. And then we just got to get the steering wheel. Looking good. All right, so something game-changing has just happened. It is... Probably the biggest thing that's ever happened so far here to us. And that is, we found 
metal nearby. It's crazy. It's uh, actually quite embarrassing considering we sailed like three sectors over just to find a metal rich island. Um, but one of the other guys was going around and he said he found metal on one of the nearby mountains. So I started looking around and I actually found one like spawn right next to us. And it's, it's so embarrassing because we've been going across the island. We were using a cow to try and get metal. It's horrible. And uh, now all we have to do is head over to this mountain right next to us, <laughs> climb to it, and we've got metal. I'm going to show you. It's it's quite impressive how uh, how little we scouted this area <laughs> till now. Um, but I got a, a hook, a zipline hook here, and I want to see if we can get this going to the top. Now that I look at it, I don't think that's going to be possible because... What I want to do is be able to overload ourselves up top and then zip line down, but we'll see. We'll see. Just wait. Look at this. Look at it. And our base is right there. It's so crazy. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, I don't even care that it took us this long to find it. This is going to be game changing. All right, so works just like the one in arc. I always shoot the far one first because it's just easier to line up, in my opinion. So here we go. Look at this. Pure iron. This is ridiculous. We're going to be able to fill up our boat with pretty much everything we need. Um, just because the biggest issue, like I said, was the metal for the cannons and now that we've got this pretty much we just i think we need to level up the boat so it'll get weight and then we can probably add more i just know we're going to be cutting it close judging by all the other builds that are boats boats that we've built so far all right i've punched myself around check it out what a profit and now we just gotta kind of punch our way back let's make sure this works shall we Come on. Oh, I probably should, probably should have placed that better. <laughs> nope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just as, just as intended. I, I meant to do that. Um, I actually noticed that we could probably just use a glider suit. Honestly, does it, although zip line, probably a cool idea. I think if we just glided from the top. <laughs> All right. Just survived a fall holding like. 3,000 kilograms of weight and survived. I'm a goddamn superhero. Alright, gotta get those ladders going to the catwalk or the crow's nest, I meant. Not catwalk, that doesn't make any sense. Look at this. We didn't have this on the other boat. We weren't sophisticated enough. You have some railings up here. Looks like you can actually maybe expand these, build up onto these as well. Really? Really? I can only place it on the side? Why? Why? Why can't I? Okay. Alright. Cool. It really won't let me place it on the front? How am I going to keep things symmetrical here? Yeah, it's li literally just not letting me do it. But having these is really nice. Because you can see, I think you can see further up here. Or maybe it's just, you you feel like you can see further. But either way, you can snipe from these as well. Okay, I think it's, it's all set. I'm not going to do one in this other one for now. We'll do another ladder up there later when we feel like it. But let me put this back down here. For some reason, it, you got to like move all weird to try and place this thing. There we go. Just doesn't fit on the bottom deck very well. But yeah, we're good. I probably just have to add a few more storage bins and stuff. But other than that, this is about ready to go in the water. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm excited. All right, just making up these cannons here quick. 
Good thing I've been making gunpowder like crazy. We're going to be able to actually put it to use. I've been stocking up on all the flint and just making it into gunpowder. Figuring we'd need it at this point. So I'm just going to make a couple extra heavies. Got a whole bunch of heavies here. Or, sorry, mediums. Perfect. Can we still stand on it with the sail there? Cool. This one can only move up and down, right? I don't... Th yeah, this one doesn't have side-to-side -side motion, so we're, we're all set. I think that's fine. One heavy on the front for now. We can add a second one later if we want to. I'm going to try and move it over just a, a slight bit more. It just wasn't quite centered. Look at this. It's so cool. I really like the mechanics. Like the gun ports, everything. Really cool how you place these. They snap right in. I really like that. The The boat building definitely is well done. I like how each like wooden piece is actually different depending on where you place it. It kind of looks, I don't know, kind of matches the boat instead of just being a normal wood wall or whatever, you know? So, I don't know. This looks pretty dang good. Okay, this is the last of them. I just have to make up the small, like, individual cannons. I keep forgetting what they're called. Uh, the swivel, swivel guns. I want to get, like, maybe four of them, you know, one on each corner, because they have the liquid flame for, like, flamethrowers and stuff like that. On that, Or, like, it shoots flame, basically, out of it, like a flamethrower. So, really trying to get towards that. But that seems pretty far down the, the skill tree, the liquid flame, at least. And I don't think we've got the stuff to do it, so... We'll just stick to the normal, like, grape shot for those. Um, get these last two cannons, and then that's pretty much where we're going to stay for, for weight because we still have to get cannonballs, load all those in there, like, uh, repair materials and things like that. So I don't want to be, you know, running at max weight. We need to be able to pick up resources and stuff from other islands and stuff. So look at it looking good. I'm just going to add those guns on there, and we should be set. So uh, we'll drop this in the water next time probably take it out on its first voyage i'm not really sure i still need to cl clean up like a couple things in here and uh get all the resources and the mats we're gonna need for travel so we'll do that next time but hope you enjoyed i'm really loving this boat and can't wait to get it out on the water so anyway that's where we're gonna stop for today if you like this video hit that thumbs up for me and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hope you guys are enjoying atlas i really am i think it's a fun game it's got its bugs every game seems to at this point nowadays but anyway I'm enjoying it, and that's what matters. You guys have a good one.